Hi everyone, this is Loxman. In this video, I'll show you how to connect Samsung Gear 360 with your iPhone. So this is the Samsung Gear 360, which we'll be connecting to the iOS device. So I have an iPhone with iOS running. So in this video, I'll be showing you how to connect uh, these two with the Wi-Fi connection. So now first, let's power on the Samsung Gear by pressing the power button okay it shows uh, the display is being shown now let's go to the iphone and download the app for connecting now first let's go to the app store and download the samsung gear 360 app search for gear 360 or samsung gear 360 uh, if the app is compatible with your uh, device then it you will be able to download different uh, features and specifications are uh, displayed there okay so while the app is being downloaded now let's uh, switch our gear into the uh, iOS mode you can do this by pressing the up button above the power button for a while and then the different options will be shown like if you press repeatedly there one by one then you will see connect to iOS connect to Android like that so now uh, I'll leave it in connect to iOS as I am connecting it to the iOS mode so what happens it uh, gear 360 will generate a Wi-Fi connection on its own that will be used to connect to the Wi-Fi so in our mobile what we need to do is we need to go to our Wi-Fi setting and then uh, connect to the gear 360's Wi-Fi okay so now you can see the Wi-Fi being generated from the gear 360 okay so the uh, 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 what we can do is the password is being displayed there on the screen of gear 360 entering that password and connecting will uh, make our devices connected with each other okay now they are connected you can uh, hear different kind of sounds being popped up from the gear 362 now in and there you can see the wi-fi connection being shown in the display of gear 360 that means we, we are connected via the wi-fi okay now in the app let's go to the app okay since this is the iphone and the gear 360 is samsung some features might be not available let's agree the terms and conditions so the different uh, tips are shown here what we can do with the gear we can control we can broadcast we can save gallery view everything okay so this is the home screen that is shown in the app uh, there is the camera gallery live broadcast and settings and in the up top you can see the battery of the gear 360 soon if you go to the settings uh, different options are available there like controlling sound and lead the battery status memory stress memory storage is available from your version and so on so now we can also control the sound and lead likewise we can control the camera settings from the app like iso self timer video size and everything so this is pretty good now what we are going to do is let's go to the camera actually uh, the preview should be shown here but because of the recent form format up upgrade of my device uh, the preview is not shown but also i can use the camera as my for taking photographs and so on so um, so i can so it's currently it is in video mode so the video is being captured up upon pressing the shutter button so pressing it again will save it actually the storage of gear 60 is being used for saving so these are the different modes available uh, to control so now explaining about the mode uh, currently it is in video mode so uh, video icon is being displayed on the gear 360's screen like it can capture the video of 751 minute so like uh, similarly uh, photo option when selected it shows the number of photos available or that can be captured okay let's play with some more modes so video lo looping mode is also there uh, likewise there are different modes 
Uh, let's go the uh, let's go to the camera and uh, take a snap and see how it works. Okay. So uh, it has been captured, and now I can access it via the, the gallery. Okay. So this is the image that I just captured. So it it just needs few seconds to stitch the images together from both of the cameras of the Gear 360. So I can get the um, image just captured in just a fraction of seconds from my device. I can watch how uh, the image is and share them or upload it to social network or do anything like. So I can also go to the gallery and browse the different images captured and I can save to my device or delete them. I can view them, I can share them, anything you can do, you do with the normal images. So it may take a while for saving the pictures to your device currently uh, these images are from the gear 360s internal not internal gear 360s uh, stories so now they have been downloaded to my phone similarly if you go to the broadcast section you can broadcast to your youtube or facebook channel uh, facebook account so but you need cellular connection for that since uh, gear 360 connects to your mobile phone with wi-fi This is all about the app. Uh, thanks for watching. Hope it was useful. I'll be making more videos. So don't forget to subscribe. If you have any comments, leave in the uh, comment section below in this video. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.